In this video, we are going to have a look at how to block access to Microsoft 365 applications when they are accessed from a personal device. So the scenario that we are looking at is you have an end user who wants to use uh, Microsoft 365 using the browser by using their home machine or they could be on holidays and they might be using a machine that is in the hotel lobby or they might be just trying to check their emails from a internet cafe by using the browser. They might sign out, they may just leave the session open and leave. You have no idea. So it is a bit of a security nightmare and it's kind of something that we need to close off straight away once we have devices enrolled into Intune. So what we need over here is we want to block access to Microsoft 365 applications when they are being accessed from a non-corporate device, a device that we have no control of that we don't manage. If this topic is of interest to you, please uh, check out my other videos in the channel. Feel free to comment below if you have any questions around the topic that's been discussed in this video or if you have a topic in mind that you would like me to cover. Now let's set the scene. I have a machine over here which is enrolled into Entra ID and it is also enrolled into Intune. So it is a managed device as far as the Intune platform is concerned. So to show that I can log in to the browser by using uh, the browser on this particular machine. So this is Joey Tribbiani, my, my favorite user. And he has logged into Outlook Web Access, checking his emails, um, you know, looking out the settings. You could do anything that you could normally want. You know, you can just open up OneDrive, you could go into Teams, you know, the normal IT stuff that people do when they are trying to access their data um, that we have within the company. So it could be Teams, OneDrive, SharePoint sites, uh, their own emails, uh, whatever. So everything works, as you can see. Now, we would like to block the same user being able to access the same applications, Microsoft 365 applications, while they are using a non-corporate device, a device that is not managed and enrolled into Intune. To set that, we need to go back into the Intune portal, as always, intune.microsoft.com. We click on devices on the left-hand side. We wait for the panel to load on the uh, left side. And what we are looking for is conditional access within managed devices. So the third option, conditional access. Now there are various ways by which we can set conditional access from various portals, but you could also do the same from the Intune portal. So what we need is to create a conditional access policy which blocks access when being accessed from a non-personal, from a non-corporate device, so from a personal device. So for that, let's click on create new policy in the middle pane to create our conditional access policy. So let's give it a meaningful name. Let's say block M365 apps when connecting from a personal device. Make it meaningful and descriptive enough so that the next time you have a look, you kind of understand as to what we have done over here. Because it pretty much kind of gets out of hand when we have 15, 20 policies and you know you want to manage it on a daily basis. So whenever you start setting up conditional access policies, always give it a meaningful name, descriptive enough so that you can just Get an idea as to what the policy does from the list of conditional access policies that you have. All right, now let's target the users. Normally, you would want to target all the users. Um, that's the ideal scenario. And we would like to exclude the admin, admin user accounts that you have. So at least the global access, like global administrator role. So you click on directory roles and you pick up global administrators. The reason for this one is you don't want to lock out by setting up a policy and then you have no way of getting in. I mean, I'm not saying that it is going to lock out using this particular policy, but as a general rule, you just want to exclude accounts with admin access so that you're not getting locked out of the Microsoft 365 tenant. So let's set that. Now, in my case, rather than using all users, I would like to select a particular group uh, in which I want to test the policy. And if I am successful, I would like to come back to this conditional access policy and change it from the selected group back into all users. So I have a group that I have created, uh, which is called Intune uh, Test Users, I believe. Let's just search for that, Intune. Wait for it to come up. Yeah, Intune Test Users. So I have Joy to be any in that one. So I have collected, just selected this particular group to say that I want this particular policy to be applied to only people in this particular group. And I want it to be excluded even if that user is in this Intune test users, if the user has global admin rights. 
So that's the user scope. Now let's select the target. So we want to target all the cloud apps because we don't want to leave out anything. So any Microsoft 365 apps comes under the policy. And the conditions, we are setting up uh, devices. So we are, we are targeting Windows machines. So maybe Windows and Mac machines, personal devices, non-corporate machines. Let's select done. Locations, we don't really mind because we want to cover uh, wherever they are accessing from. So, you know, all, all over the world. Now, client apps, um, let's pick all the client apps. So we are trying to block everything. Now, filter for devices. That is, this one is pretty important. This is where we kind of differentiate which devices this particular policy is getting applied to. So over here on the top in the device platforms, we have picked up Windows and Mac machines. So it's pretty much all the machine combinations or scenarios that you can have in a personal space from a home um, scenario perspective. So here we say yes to configure the device filters. And we want to set up an expression in which we are saying, okay, if the property device ownership, so if the ownership of the device is equal to personal, or, I mean, this one is good enough, or you could also add an or expression to kind of cover all the basics uh, where the device ownership is not equal to um, company. So what we are saying is if it is not equal to company, it is a personal one. And in the first statement, we are saying device ownership is equal to personal, which means it is a personal device. I mean, you could just play with just one, one of the settings. It should work. But just to cover the whole scenario, I'm just giving you the or options. So personal device or not a company device, which is pretty much uh, a personal device. So we click on done over here. Now we go into grant. And here we are not giving grant access. We are blocking access for the users. Because what we have done in the previous step in the conditions is we are selecting all the personal devices. So we are saying if the device is non-corporate or if the device is a personal one, we want to block access. Because by default, you will have grant. So you need to flip it back to block access. Otherwise, this particular policy will have no effect You know, wherever the users come from, whether it is from a corporate machine or from a personal machine, uh, the user will be allowed access. So make sure that it is set to blocked and select. Now, there are a couple of ways by which we can play with the policy. You can have report only mode, which is the default mode over here, as you can see. What it does is it doesn't actively enforce the policy, but it collects the logs and says that if this particular policy was applied for a user who just logged in, this is what would have happened. It's like a what if condition. Now, normally you would just test the policy with report only for a couple of days just to get a feel for it. But that is the case if you're targeting all the users um, in step number two in the assignments within the users tab. But here we are just actively selecting only a test user group. So here we kind of know who we are targeting so we can safely switch on the policy. So we enable the policy by selecting the on button that we have at the, at the bottom and we click on create. It takes a few seconds for the policy to be created. Let's wait for that to happen. So it says success on the top right hand side. If we select um, all the policies, then that policy should be listed. There you go. Block M365 apps when connecting from a personal device. It is set to on and, and the creation date. Now that the policy is in place, let's go back and check the machine that we have, which is uh, managed by Intune. It is still working. It seems to be fine. Let's just close the window and let's open it up again let's just select microsoft edge and let's say outlook.office365.com so that's the one for joy to be any it should single sign you in because you are using an intra id join machine so you don't have to enter the username and the password there you go you have access to your emails and your calendar onedrive uh, everything on the side so let's just make sure we have onedrive access it's taking a bit of time to load. I mean, it's a virtual machine on my laptop, so that is understandable. But it looks like it's loading up. So there it is, finally. Yeah, no emails at the moment. Let's close that off. Now let's flip back to our machine. So this is the Endra ID join machine. Let's just minimize that one. And let's check the machine on which I am I'm recording this particular video. So let's just select a in private window. So this is a personal device, it's not enrolled into Intune, nothing to do with Entra ID or anything of that sort. So let's try and log in. Outlook dot office, if I can spell, office365.com. You could use any of the URLs, office.com, login.microsoftonline.com, uh, whatever the case may be. 
So let's just pick Joy at Cloudific dot training. Sponge in the password. All right, so it says you cannot access this right now. And it gives you an explanation. Your sign-in was successful. So it's nothing to do with your username and the password combination or the MFA. But it does not meet the criteria to access this particular resource. For example, you might be signing in from a browser app or a location that is restricted by your admin. So this is how you can easily block connections coming into Microsoft 365 applications from a non-corporate device. So just one conditional access policy will do the job, as you have seen. Now, if you found this video informative, you know, do check out the other videos that I have in the channel and please consider subscribing to the channel as I upload videos on a daily basis around Microsoft 365, Azure, Windows, Intune, PowerShell and general IT stuff. Thank you.